Hello and welcome to our new Open Computers tutorial series. In this series we want to look at the frequently asked questions and today how to set up a computer. For this we first need a computer case. These are available in three different tiers where the higher tiers allow more components to be used. Components are things like graphic cards, hard disks and other stuff like this. Therefore, we want to start with a simple one, so tier 1. When we now put this down and try to start it up, we get the error message saying not enough energy. So what can we do about it? Well, energy would be a good idea. Basically, every kind of energy source can be used. In this case, I'll be using a creative engine. And as we can see, the computer now gets energy. If we now try to start it, it tells us no CPU is installed. CPUs are also available in different tiers. So tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3. So if we now go over this and press shift, we can see that tier 1 supports 8 components, tier 2 12 components and tier 3 16 components. Therefore, the more we want to do with our computer, the higher tier we need for our CPU. If we now take a look inside, we see which component fits into this slot. Also, you can see in which slot a component would fit. Note that tier 2 and 3 are not highlighted. With other words, in a tier 1 case, you can only put a tier 1 CPU, also shown by the small Latin 1. If we now put this in and try to start it, it tells us no problem is installed on the computer. For memory, the same goes as before, it is available in multiple tiers and again, the higher the tier, the more memory it provides. Memory is needed for programs to run, therefore the more memory you have, the larger the co program can get. It is not displayed here how much, but basically the bigger the better. Here we can see tier 1 is valid for tier 1 and also tier 1.5. With other words, if we build this in, we have memory. So if we now start the computer, the computer would theoretically start up, but it really doesn't do anything well. Also, it doesn't really tell us what's wrong. So what can we do about it? Well, we can take an analyzer. Here it is. And with this, we can do a shift right click on the computer. And we now can see on the bottom left that the error message was that no BIOS was found. And we shall install a configured EEPROM. So, how do we do that? We take a EEPROM like this. There is nothing on it yet. I won't go into details, but there is a receipt for it and we can craft it. If we now put this in, and start the computer again and now use the analyzer again on the computer we now see the exact same error message. That's because we actually need a Lua BIOS and to get this we first take the manual. This is put in the inventory at game start or alternatively can be crafted. And now we can as soon as we have a crafting inventory Craft together the EAP-ROM as shown in usage with the handbook and as a result get the EAP-ROM Lua BIOS. So now we can insert this in the computer and if we now start again, it still doesn't work. And if we take a look at the error message, no bootable medium found. So therefore we need a bootable medium. But before we continue here, we should make sure that we can actually see something. Computers of course work without a screen, but it's kind of useful to actually see something. For this, we have screens. The difference is the resolution they can display. And also higher tiers can display more colors. But in this case, we only take a tier 1 screen and if we try to start it up again, and well, still don't see anything because still there is no bootable medium. So how do we actually get a bootable medium? Well, first we take a floppy disk and again a handbook 
And if we press usage again, we see we also can craft this together with the handbook. And if we do that, we receive an open OS disk. Sadly, we cannot insert it yet into the computer. Higher cases have a built-in disk drive. But in this case, we don't have one, so we need a disk drive that we can place next to the computer and insert the disk. As we can see, it's now inside. And if we now try to boot up the computer again, we can see and hear something happens. But we don't see anything on the screen. Why don't we? Well, we don't have a graphics card yet. So we should get a graphics card. And for the graphics card, basically the same goes as for the screens. The higher the tier, the higher can be the resolution, the more colors it supports and the faster it works. So basically how many picture changes can be done. So if I put this now in, we can see the computer is already running. So I restarted to see the startup process. And now the computer would boot every time from the OpenOS disk. If we now make a right click on the screen to enter text, nothing happens because we first need a keyboard. This we just put on any side of the screen and now we can enter text. The problem we have is currently we only have a disk where we can't save any stuff on it and also is a bit slow. So to create programs that remain on the computer even after it's restarted, we need a hard disk drive. For hard disk drives, again, the higher the tier, the more space is available. We again take tier 1. We can insert that in here. And we now can enter install. We are now asked to select the device we want to install the OS on. And we currently only have one device, the one with 420E4 and so on. That's the address of the hard disk drive. As we can see in here over the label open computers. So every component has its own unique address. Therefore, we want to select the first device. And now the OS is installed onto the hard disk drive. The installation process takes a few seconds during which all files are saved on the device. As soon as the installation process is completed, we can remove the floppy disk from the disk drive and restart the computer. Now the computer boots from the hard disk drive. This is quite a bit faster. And now we can run the programs we want to. This concludes the first part of this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments. Or if you want to see more tutorials, please also leave a comment about what you would like to see. Thanks for watching. Until next time. See you.